Hey, when I come into the theater, I'm not going to be there before the film is done. Yeah, I'm going to be in the back. I'm like, oh, man. Still, I hit them and it's going to be fun. They want to be like, oh, my God. Like, they do like, Tom is not by your own hand, but they start by your own hand. If you remember, we talked about that. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? So, Tom can help you when the situation is not in the place. And it's taken by you. Go to Tom's. Tom's. Which one, Tom's? You see, Tom's action, you say the action, then you put what you want to put, then you go to. So, Tom, unlike input, has a closing card. This is the closing card that Tom can read. They da da time to slide to put the thing. Today's the closing card. You know? Then this action, majorly this one is for uh, for PHP or for JavaScript. So it's that some point is fully loaded. It can enable your HTML to function very well. Then we don't want to go to HTML uh, 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 PHP, whether we're going to JavaScript or Python right now. We are still on HTML. So I'm on HTML to help you on HTML. And as mentioned, I'm doing the building block. We we'll only give you the structure, we we'll only give you the building, the foundation for others to come and work. Okay? So, how do you use form on HTML? Then you go down. Let me show you how you can use form on HTML. Same thing, you put input. Remember, I told you form is like, uh, from what I told you, that's the container for input, where you are you're using input. Okay? So, let's use the word that submit and use it for input type. Come around and submit. Input type submit. I just want to show you how form functions. Okay? Click on your save as you do, and remember to right click and go to your online server so I can see what we've done. What I always done now. Let's go down, let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. Hmm. You see forms? You see forms? Submit. Submit button is there. You see? Who type submit? So, let's, let's go there. Where is our input type? It says submit. And in between the form, let's write something that people may know that yes. So you remember, you remember, you can write something that people will see value or suggest value, okay? Suggest value. Then you still type your submit. Type your submit. <coughs> now we're about the spelling. The spelling is wrong. You can correct your own and make sure that yours is okay. My own matter here is I'm passing the message. So. This is submit. You see it. I want to see that it's submit. Because I don't think that it wouldn't appear. So after all you done, you now you need to click on submit. After all the form, you need to go to contact form and start from there. So that form starts as a container for everything we've done. In our world, we can come back from the beginning. Just scroll down for we start this input of a thing. I'll start input just from the beginning. Go over it from beginning. From beginning, let's put everything in form of a thing. Because form serve as a container. So, yes. Bring it down. Form. Form. And take over this part of the form, which is the closing tag. Bring it. Pass it. Let's go down to where we started. And then close it. Okay. You won't change anything, but just that to show you that what is up, serve as a container. Okay. So with this form, with form, you can do many things with form. So many things. So like I said before, HTML does not actually function. But if you want it to function, you use yeah, JavaScript. And for you to use JavaScript, form has to come in handy. Because you use form, you know, form like I told you, I told you where you say action. So form always form with action. And that action is where you now put your JavaScript code that will enable all these things. When people submit, people can submit the form, people can feed the form, people can put application, people can do many things. And then you when you put your, your form type, your action type here on the HTML, you put your PHP, you are using, you're using JavaScript. When you put it, when you come from it, it will go somewhere. Like if somebody you admin can come over and check it and you know, either apply the person, employ the person and accept the form or pay me payment and all that. But so far, so good. You learn everything about input, you see how input works, you see that you can put you can put file, you can put radio, you can put table, you can put dates, you can many things you can do with input. Don't forget what I told you, Google more, 